Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be giving my McCann's a new nest and doing some maintenance. So, if you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. First, I'll start off with the tube and then cleaning the dirt as well. To clean the route well down, I'll be using a cotton swab and some water. Here, you can see I'm adding the water onto the cotton swab. This outward has gone quite a while without cleaning, so it's pretty important that I do it. Without regular cleaning, you can get mould in your outward, which is never a good sign. I also used tweezers toward the end, so I could pick up the mealworm bodies that they had eaten. Now that the outboard is relatively clean, it's time to replace their test tube. So, now I've got it out the outboard, it's time to refill it. After I took the cotton out of the test tube, I was able to fill it up with water and put the cotton back in. Once the tube is set up, I put it back in the outwork so they can drink in peace. And finally, the last thing in their outwork was to fill up their liquid feeder as they are getting very thirsty. So now that the outwork's all sorted, it's time to move on to the nest. Here you can see this is the nest that they currently reside in. And let's just say they've kind of filled it up. So, I think it's time for an upgrade. Here you can see the replace, which are full of food, and you can get a glimpse of the queen through a mess of workers. Here is the nest that they'll be receiving. It's a size 3 Wakushi Star Module, and yes, it is the same nest that they currently reside in. Here you can see that I filled up the water tower for the nest. I've also watered the nest as they like humidity and because it has a gypsum base it will spread the humidity evenly throughout the nest. This is what I'll be using to connect the nest to the main portal. All of the nests in our world in this video are part of the Wakushi modular series so they can all slot together with these little pieces. Okay, so now that I've taken the book out, I can slip the nest in. And luckily, I got the nest attached before any ants could get out. So, we did this with zero escapees. So, to secure the nest to the new setup, I used one of the connectors to connect the old nest to the new nest. So, now it's all connected up, time to have a time lapse of them exploring it. Added a little bit more water to the nest so it would be the perfect humidity. And since they hadn't currently moved brood in yet and it's been a few hours, I decided to put the heat mount under them so they would be a bit more encouraged to move in. I also gave them a little snack so maybe the queen could lay some eggs in the new nest.
After one day of having the heat map, they decided to move in as it was ideal humidity and temperature for them. Well, let's just say they stored a lot of brood in their new nest. But somehow, their old nest was still almost full to the brim with brood, workers and eggs. Well, that's all for now, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.